evening. Well, this morning we've been telling you the surprising story of how a local company is helping man go back to the moon. NASA is working to build a permanent moon colony, and designers from Torvec and Webster are helping create the new lunar rover. It has all unfolded in just the past two months. Torvec gave us an exclusive look at their new state-of-the-art to how this state-of-the-art moon rover might work. And you push it forward, you go forward. Andy Gleesman of Torvec was used to designing transmissions for vehicles on Earth. One of Torvec's innovations allows a car to handle ice or other rough surfaces without spinning out. And this high-level design is what first attracted the attention of NASA. When the United States goes back to the moon in 2015, NASA hopes its astronauts will be traveling the lunar surface in a new moon rover, something that looks like this. For Andy Gleesman, it was a whole new design challenge. Now we're dealing with uh, moon, which is one six gravity, packaging requirements, and a temperature differential in the shade and in the light of 100 degrees Celsius, which is over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. After flying to NASA headquarters in December, Gleesman and the designers at Torbeck immediately launched into late night sessions. They had only two months to craft this technology for the new moon rover. What they don't know is how far along NASA's competition has gotten in this new space race. China and India are among the most eager countries ready to colonize the moon. All I know is the number one priority in China is to deal with anything in space, to gather up as much technology, uh, to gather up uh, any kind of information they have from outside sources to move them along. But they're going to have their hands full. NASA declined to comment for our story and asked Torvec to keep the major details of the design quiet. They want this stuff uh, to be very, very secretive. Uh, they don't want their competition to know how they're achieving this. But Torvec's designers were allowed to show us some of their ideas for the new moon rover. Unlike the old buggy-type rovers that astronauts used to first explore the moon in the 60s and 70s, NASA wants a vehicle that can travel for miles and carry as many as four astronauts. Those astronauts could use the rover to explore for water, minerals, or other materials. Torvec's plans call for a purely electric vehicle. And what we do is you have two drive motors. These provide your forward thrust. They've already exceeded NASA's request by creating a transmission that would allow the moon rover to run up to 15 miles per hour instead of just 12. These pods you see on each one, and each one of those contains this transmission. Which controls the wheel. Which controls the, yeah, the speed of the wheel. It almost looks too easy. The wheels are controlled by a simple joystick that Torvec let us try. And if I want to just change the direction, I can just turn it right back the other way. Yep. And slow it down. And, and stop. stop it just like yep. that. And now I'm going the other way. Yep. The astronauts would operate the rover standing up, and it would use a battery similar to the one you'll find in a laptop computer. When we visited Torvec's Webster facility, they were getting ready to ship the design to Houston, ready for NASA's inspection two weeks ahead of schedule. Andy says they wanted to send a message. Torvec can handle the job and the deadline. Any little hiccup in the beginning gets uh, bigger and bigger as the years go on toward launch. So everything has to be on a tight deadline, and they made sure that we, we were. Now, NASA has stated their desire to work with other countries to build a moon base, but it's not yet clear which nations will cooperate. Coming up later this morning, we're going to show you how Torvac came up with their artistic drawing that is helping convince NASA the moon rover could be a success. Uh, and real briefly, we should tell you also, I was corrected earlier, Neil Armstrong never rode in one of those buggies. When he was first on the moon, uh, he was essentially tethered to that uh, landing pod.